Hello and welcome back to the Hobbyman UK channel. Today on my workbench I have a G&G Armament ARP9. Uh, this is part of their combat range of uh, entry level airsoft rifles. Um, and certainly for the price I think it's an absolute steal. Um, and I certainly rate it up there with sort of some of the best airsoft guns out there. Um, let's have a look at it. Um, the body itself is polymer. The front section is metal. Um, on this particular one I've um, put on a strobe light on the front here. Uh, I've also fitted a uh, red dot uh, reflex optic on there. Um, it doesn't come with that and it doesn't come with this. Uh, but it does come with the front and rear flip up sights. Um, I've also additionally put on here the battery extension unit which is made by AirTech Studios which in my opinion is really essential really. The downside is it of it is the stock um, adjustment here is in two parts. Uh, you lose this first part, so it's always going to be locked in the furthest position, um, which I haven't found a problem, to be honest with you, it shoulders fine. Um, I have put some additional tape on here. I just felt where you click this extension unit into the end, where we, you'd normally fit the, uh, the cap on, which is the end of the stock, it, I just it's not that brilliant, I didn't think. Um, so just to re reduce any possibility of it um, coming loose or anything, either way when I'm taking this out to replace the battery, I've I've just put some additional tape on. Um, you might find yourself different if you get it yourself. 11.1 um, volt LiPo in this, um, astonishing sound. Um, it is well known for being quite a loud gun. So downside, indoors, it makes a lot of noise and it's great fun. Uh, people will know where you are. Um, however, they'll probably run away, which I have found, which is quite hilarious, really. Um, I've had marshals coming up to me just gobsmacked. Um, it is quite a, it's certainly the loudest airsoft gun um, I've played with for quite some time. Um, and hence it makes it, uh, puts a smile on your face. Um, I will fire it quickly now. It's really going to pick it up in here. But um, indoors, certainly when it's echoing, it's um, great fun. Um, let's have a look inside. Unfortunately, this doesn't hold back. Um, but uh, yeah, you've got the usual rotary, um, let's have a look, you've got usual rotary uh, hop up adjustment there that you get with G&G. &G. There we go. And put the dust cover back on. So yeah, it's um, great. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic thing. So what I'm going to quickly show you now, again, with all these airsoft uh, guns, is how you get the battery in. Now, uh, pushing that down removes the stock there. And then we just take out, let's have a look, there we go, taking that out. Now, the wires for the MOSFET and the fuse go down into the rifle, but they slightly go around themselves as they go down. And I found that by using that and slotting the battery down the middle of those wires, it just is very, very easy to install the battery then. So, there's the usual small Tamiya connectors, which we'll just undo there. Pull that apart. I'm trying to do this and keep it on the cat and view of the camera. Um, right, there we go. Now, as I pull this up, let's see if I can get this out, move this out the side of the way. There we go. And then we'll pull the battery up. Okay, as you can see, it's still a tight fit. There we go. There's the battery. So, not a great deal of room there. There's the fuse and the, the MOSFET. But uh, without shining a torch down, they're really sort of showing you the wire just goes down. So I found that putting it down there in between where the wire goes, as you can see, and then that you push back down there above the battery. There we go. And then you can wind that round and put the cap back on. So, yeah, it's possible. Not easy, but uh, um, possible. Anyway, right. That's that. Let's have a quick look at the um, uh, the actual uh, box itself that it comes in. It comes with a set of instructions, which are um, quite nice, detailing the everything on the actual gun itself and adjusting the hop up. And there we go. How to unjam, clean it, and troubleshooting issues um, in various languages as well. There's also uh, a diagram there showing all the parts of the actual rifle. So yeah, that's quite nice. 
It also comes, if I remember, um, somewhere, I can find it in my paper right here. It also came with a the usual G&G &G, um, poster that's got all of the, the guns that they do, which you can stick on your bedroom wall if you want. Um, and the box itself is nice, um, but you can tell it's part of their entry level. Uh, it's, it's only a plastic molded uh, there, not the usual foam that you get with sort of more uh, upper range rifles. Rifle came in there, unjamming rod, and I had a high capacity magazine there. Um, on some continents, uh, sorry, some countries, um, I believe it comes with a charger, um, uh, but not this particular UK spec gun anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see by the box there, that was picked up from zero one. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But um, yeah, next year we'll have some play videos coming up of this. And uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. A definite, uh, if you want something for uh, sort of uh, indoor play, some close uh, combat, uh, this I think should be on your list of uh, things to get. Um, anyway, see you next year and uh, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.